Well, welcome to Larry Talks Tech. And what I'm showing you here is a rather, I think, amazing little database. It's called Symphitum, and I hope I didn't kill the pronunciation of that. It's really lightweight. It's not devoid of features, but certainly uh, doesn't have a lot of them. But you can do it for a number of things and use it. And uh, uh, I think it's it's pretty efficient, pretty fast. And for, for my use, it, it, it was exactly what I was looking for. I've been looking at databases for, well, for, for a bit now uh, to help me do some analysis on some of the sales and stuff from my online stores. Uh, I've, I've used Access before. Uh, of course, I'm on Macs, and then Access is an option now. I've used uh, Libris DBase, and I haven't been really happy with that. Uh, I find it to be a little quirky, and uh, I've had it uh, choke on me a few times, and I've lost records and stuff. It just uh, hasn't been that reliable for me. Uh, so in my search, you know, I looked at uh, tap forms and Linux and records and, you know, probably the, the usual ones and kind of st accidentally stumbled on this. Uh, I was looking for uh, uh, at one of the other databases and I uh, was going through some reviews and, and uh, a user had, had uh, recommended this. So I looked it up and yeah, it does work. That's pretty cool. So, so let's go over it and I'll, I'll give you an idea of what this what this little guy is all about. Um, you got two two views here on this this screen. You got the a forum view and a table view, which I like. Some of the databases I looked at only had a forum view, so this has both. Um, this area here uh, are for collections, and that's basically what uh, Symphitum calls um, a database. And the way you can create databases, well, you can do this a couple of different ways. Uh, one, you can just uh, go here to do a new collection, click this, you set up a new collection, you name it, just like you would in any, any other database. Um, then you choose your view, then you can set your records up and, and your, your, your form and so on. Um, the other way is that you can import a CSV file. I mean, this thing only works in CSV, and so that's what you're going to be be importing. And uh, I've got one here, and I'll, I'll show you how this little guy works. So, first thing we do, we go up here and hit File, we hit Import. Cer certainly want the format to be CSV. Uh, your options are CSV. <laughs> uh, there you go, next here, your collection name. Let's For us, we're going to call it Test. All right, it's, it likes to default to Western, the Unicode, uh, uh, or the coding here to Western Europe, Apple, Roman. Well, that's not what we want. We want uh, Unicode UTF-8. Yet import. Okay, so now it wants to go. Uh, uh, okay, yes, you can do that. Uh, wants me to go find a file. I have it right here, and we'll hit open. Okay, so it, if you see us up here, it's already Im imported this file. So let's let's take a look at what we've got here. This was a, a database that I set up uh, for a previous video I did on uploading product to WooCommerce. And if you notice what this did, it automatically set up all the column headers here. There's a lot of them. Right, so, so, so it, there's all the column headers that did all of that. All right, so let's take, take a look at form, and if you scroll down here, all those column headers are here. It's already set those up. All right now, for either way you do this, once you get into the form, uh, editing the form can be much more simpler. You you click on the, the name of the of the field here, and then you can grab the handles and make this bigger, or you can make them smaller. If you hang on to the name, you can just move this thing over here, all right? All right, move it over here. You can just anyway. You can keep moving it. Okay. Pretty simple. Um, if you go back over here again, so star collections, copy collection, delete a collection. This is on your records. You, you this is a 
to set up a new record. All right. Uh, this copies a record. This deletes a record. And this is where you where you set up your your uh, fields at here. So your debt, your collections over here. These are your fields. So you're going to add a field. So if you want to modify this and add a field, you can do that. Here is a list of fields, the type of format for for the field. So you have combo boxes, check boxes, web links, text number, and so on. So it actually it's a that's pretty standard standard uh, grouping there. All right. Um, where it's strong at, besides uh, just getting your records on the thing and how, how easy that is, let's go to table for a minute. So you can you, you can do searches on it. It's, I think it's, I did this so redundant. Uh, let's see if it'll do hidden. Yeah. Okay, so if I want to know what items do I have, are, am I going to upload that are going to be hidden and not seen, this would be hidden, and I just typed in hidden up here. I didn't have to type in the whole word. So that's pretty fast. Now, if you had, I think the largest one I've done is about 20 columns and 60 or 70 rows. And it was, um, I had uploaded a spreadsheet that I was using to track um, orders through my system and I could go up here and, and type in completed to show me all the completed orders on the screen okay and have all the completed orders or it would show me all the uh, orders that were in progress okay. or to canceled orders so, so it give me all the records for individually for each canceled order all right so it can do basic things like that uh, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but this thing is uh, part of its speed comes in. It's written in C++, Qt, and I believe it hooks into uh, MySQL Lite, uh, which on Macs uh, is standard on Mac. So if you have a Mac, this is already in MySQL Lite's already installed, and this this is set up and it works with that. And I think it's MySQL Lite 3.1. All right, so that's it. That is a very basic database. Now, how can it be stronger? Like right now. Considering that this is what the developer gave us, that kind of limits us to to where we are with this guy. But I guess collaterally, I also ran ran across during my search for databases a forum called uh, Easy CSV Editor. So you can take a CSV spreaded uh, uh, f uh, f spreadsheet uh, and then with the CSV editor, you can actually do some pretty sophisticated queries with that. So all you would do here, you would just go up here and say export this, export this file out. It's ba basically just the same as importing it. You're just telling it where you're going to export it to, uh, and then just load just load it normally under uh, the Easy CSV cre Creator, and then in that. You can move columns around. You can do all sorts of stuff with that, uh, format-wise. But you can also do uh, queries like, show me items. Um, let's say sales. Uh, let, let me see all the all the sales we've had greater than a thousand dollars. Let me let me see all the sales we've had less than a thousand dollars or equal to a thousand dollars. Okay, so the basic stuff that you would see queries in a database. It has a significant number of those in there. So these two guys working together, uh, easy uh, CSV creator on uh, the App Store cost a whopping $6.99. Uh, so these two guys working together are, that's a pretty inexpensive database and become a really pretty strong. So you have your records here, you, you can export them out, you can manipulate them in uh, CSV creator and uh, you, you can uh, do most of the things that I was doing in uh, base for example uh, I can I can do uh, in uh, easy CSV creator pretty cool so I'm gonna do a, a video on that shortly so uh, um, you'll be able to, you'll be able to see that but you can go to the the App Store and take a look at that uh, uh, also all the things that I did when I 
set up spreadsheets to uh, upload product to uh, WooCommerce. Um, I was doing those in a spreadsheet. You can also do those in the easy CSV creator. About everything I did in that video, uh, you could do uh, in that. So it's pretty slick. Well, anyway, uh, there, there's a cheap database. Okay, not the most uh, powerful one in the world by any stretch of the imagination, but certainly quick, fast, simple to use, set up databases uh, in a couple seconds. In, uh, in terms of uh, importing, you can, it does all the work for you when you, when you import the guys, so uh, it's, it's pretty slick. Oh, hope, you, hope you found that helpful. Also, I will put uh, in, the, in the, the notes for this uh, video, uh, Seven times you can get it from uh, GitHub, and I'll, I'll put its uh, the, the link to that in the notes of this video. So if you're interested in getting it or just playing with it, I'll set it up for you. Okay, so you can get it. All right. Uh, yep. Thanks very much for coming to uh, Larry Talks Tech today.